Drat Cat here, here with my friend Ark, and we're gonna play Tormented Souls. See, the only thing I regret about this game is that I never recorded it for the channel when I played it the first time. But me and Ark played, well, Ark watched me play through this, um, the first time I played through, and we both loved it. It's, it's so good. Um, so I guess we're just going to get into it. It's like, it's a cross between old school, Silent Hill, and Resident Evil. And I think you might be muted, Ark. I know. <laughs> uh, I think this is made by a Brazilian company? Allegedly. Oh, that was loud. I guess cutscenes aren't affected by a your letter volume for settings. me. I never receive letters. Mm, that might become a problematic. To Caroline Walker. <laughs> okay, stop, stop, stop. From John Doe, Wildeberger Hospital, Winter Lake, Blackwood Island, Canada. To Caroline Walker, 578 Rain Street, Campbell Riv River, Canada. And then... Hmm? Was that Luke? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yar. Oh. Do you think you can simply, just simply abandon us here? My head, what was that? It's been two weeks since I received that letter from the Wildberger Hospital. Since then, I haven't been fine. I can't get out of my head the image of those little girls. I can't sleep. And when I am able to fall asleep, it's only to dream horrible nightmares. I need to know what's going on. What's the meaning of all of this? I'm going to the Wildberger Hospital in hopes of finding some answers about this strange photo. I need to know what's going on. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to do that thing shortly. Let me alt tab so I can do that. <laughs> I almost forgot. Forgot what? <laughs> so... Okay, yeah. And she gets knocked out. <gasps> Bam. Ow. That's some really loud music. Yeah, I know. The cutscenes just don't seem to obey that. And then I'll just cut it here. It's like, hey guys! Uh... This is a not safe for work part of the game, so you're gonna have to see me for a bit. Um, so she's in a bathtub now, naked. Uh, she's got a pipe, uh, one of those air tubes in her mouth. And um, I hope this is recording the way I think it is. <laughs> or this video has to be scrapped. Um, yep, she's getting up, she's pulling the tube out of her mouth. because she's cold. She's getting dressed, so I can switch back. There. I'm getting game. Oh, this is going to be difficult with... Whatever. I don't have enough USB spots open up right now, so I can't plug in my controller. 
So I'm gonna have to use mouse and keyboard. Respirators and oscilloscopes. What did they do to me? Um, you don't wanna know. And this is when she realizes she only has <gasps> one eye now. Yep. Oh, this is gonna be all kinds of janky. Hey! Uh, interact? But blue jeans. Back? Did I, did I take it? Oh god, how do you open... <laughs> oh no. How do you open the inventory? Thought it would be tab. Hmm. William Welderberger's diary. Today is the happiest day of my life. After all the suffering we've endured the past few years, Maria, my beloved wife, has blessed me with two beautiful angels. But there is more. After all this time, she has returned to me. She looked at me with her eyes wide, as if she had not seen me in years, like she was walk waking up from a dream. That is not all. Something odd happened when I checked my watch to find the exact time at which the first baby, Emma, was born. As I opened the lid, the glass cracked, and the hands utterly stopped. I do not think this event to have meaning or other. Or other. I am not a superstitious man, but Maria insists that it is a sign. She has started using the hours her lucky number and uses it for everything. Hmm. Kinda need to know how to open inventory. So wouldn't her name be Airline now because she lost an eye because she can't see? <laughs> Options, uh, control. No, not controller. I sense despair. Uh, general? Wait. That don't help! It don't? Uh, this game is meant for controller. Like Wait. a lot of games. Okay. Oh, I don't like that. Shift is to run. So, did I not pick up? We already know this, so. Shit. Shit! <laughs> uh. Well, actually, you know what? I should show the people. So I don't know how to read, uh, in general, let alone- <laughs> No, just kidding. Um... Time stood still when my two angels fell from heaven. Uh... There we go. And apparently that says 1235, but I'm not good at reading time on analog, I only do digital. So... Two, three, five. Ah, the padlock. There, okay, I think that's what. Here we go. Wait. E change clothes. There you go. See, I don't know what I feel about it. But this is more of what you would be dressed for in this situation. Oxhorn was complaining left and right about it. It's like, why would she be dressed in like a sundress and... <laughs> An instruction sheet. 
Yeah, tank controls. And both me and Oxhorn thought this was a door. This is your inventory. So... Uh-oh. What's the inventory button? Oh, it's no. the button that you press. Oh no. I can't get into like, tab or something. Tab was the very first thing I tried. B doesn't work. I doesn't work. Q doesn't work. Number keys don't work. F keys don't work. Oh, this is going to be a very short playthrough if I can't figure this out. It's enter? Are you serious? No, I figured it out. I guess so. Okay. Well. An old rusty wrench. The jaw size is adjustable. Which we're going to have to... T right there, yeah. I think that was all from here. Ah, ah, yes. Uh, enter. Oh, that's gonna suck. I don't like this new costume. I'm not gonna lie. I actually really hate it. What do you mean? It looks really good. Yeah. I like those outfits. Somehow I think you're lying. I prefer that outfit over the other one, honestly. Wow. Why did that get me? <laughs> God damn it. In the Five Nights at Freddy's 4 style droning. The Nightmare, painted by Henry Fusilli in 1781. It depicts a woman in deep sleep with a demonic incubus crouched on her chest. This, re re this recreation is amazing. It almost looks like the original. Um, actually, Oxhorn was talking about that, and that's most likely because the U Unity engine, which this was most likely made in, uh, you have to use find like non copyright pictures, and apparently that was one of them. Really? This doll gives me the creeps, and so that's not only that's not an exact replica, that is the original. Wow, <laughs> just actually taking a picture of, and that's the actual original one. So we don't have what we need for that. I also oh. know progress to get you your new gun, so... Oh, okay. Um, so everybody take note of where this doll is sitting. Yeah. This won't open. Oh! Okay, never mind. Oh, it's the first save room, okay. We're gonna need that. Morphine. That yeah, you're sure. definitely going to need that. Shut. Might as well get the first piece of the... Yeah, first piece of the heart. Make sure to check that cabinet periodically, because it does refill sometimes. Oh, yeah, that's right. Medical books. Nothing useful. A detailed mannequin of the human torso. Uh, human head and torso, thank you. The head doesn't count. Apparently not. 
an old school Resident Evil saving, but this time with a, uh, you know what? We shouldn't yet, right? Uh, no, we no. shouldn't yet. No. Because I have a bad habit of doing that. Old files, nothing interesting. Okay, yeah, we are recording. It's not plugged in. And that's the other thing. Even when you get the electricity back on in this place, she just keeps on saying that. Plug it in, then! There's no outlets available. <laughs> the dirty look I was just giving you on screen. <laughs> it's covered in blood. God, it reeks. I don't dare lift the sheet. She talks so proper. I mean... Well, the stuff that we know about it, we know why. Okay, so... Okay... It's locked. It appears to open electronically. So, going this way was absolutely useless. Yep. So is it difficult to get the gun, or...? It requires a few steps. Okay. There's... a painting you have to click on three times and stuff like that. What?! What kind of bullcrap is that?! That's go- that's like Resident Evil... That's like Resident Evil 2. There's a desk that you have to click on a l real- a lot of times. And it makes it so you get a picture of Rebecca in a cheerleader outfit. Oh my god. Rebecca from the first game. Who is definitely underage in the picture that it's showing her in. I'll tell you what picture you need to click on. And the worst part about what I just said, Ark, hmm. it's Wesker's desk. What's Wesker doing with an underage picture of Rebecca in a cheerleading outfit? Uh... Um... Yeah, exactly. Yikes. I'm pretty sure it's Wesker's off, uh, uh, desk. Yeah, you had to click on it like 20 times or something. Or a hundred, something really stupid. Oh, almost missed him. Da, da, da. A patient report. <clears throat> Dr. William Wilberg. Wilberg. No, not Wilberg. <laughs> That's someone different. Wildberger. Since the patient's health is extremely delicate and the transfer could worsen their condition, I would advise against transferring them to the new hospital. The patient has cardiac insufficiency and requires an immediate transplant. The patient passed away at 11.34 p.m. due to cardiac arrest. At the time of their death, they were holding onto a metal object. With the rapid onset of rigor mortis, I have been unable to remove it from their hand. Rapid? Doesn't rigor mortis take a while? Wait, so this patient was in the hospital the whole time. And when yes. they died, you didn't take that out of their hand before rigor mortis set in? No. What? Okay. The other Wait. half is in that person's hand. Oh, great. Why? Normally when I kicked OBS on Discord's streamer mode... I'm sorry, guys, for the... Uh, uh, the update, the notification, Discord's notification of me getting messages. <laughs> this is every other time I've done this. Wait. Going the wrong way already. Wait, go back up real quick. Okay. Now go down where that skull, that, uh, see that helmet right there? Yeah. Go up the stairs, right next to it. This way? Yep. This should... This click painting? On click on it three times. Judith, B. 
beheading holoferns, <clears throat> painted by Caravaggio in 1602. It depicts Judah beheading the Syrian general Holofernes in this, his tent after charming him. The recreation, the rec, recreation of Caravaggio's work is outstanding. It almost looks like the original. Because it is. Okay, now you know that helmet you were just at? Yeah. Go around it counterclockwise five times. What? What's counterclockwise? Uh, this way, right? Uh. No, no, that's clockwise. Way. Go around it five times. Oh my god. And since I lose control of left and right movement if I hit shift to run. Oh boy, this is like that one puzzle later on, huh? Well, at the end screen, you actually get hints on how to do this. They added it and the patch this was added in. What in the... What? Oh no. What is this for? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Wait. Oh, this all com. This is all pieces of a. Oh, I think I get it. What the fuck? I need to get all those? Are you shitting me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need to get eight pieces to complete this damn thing? The solution to it is on that piece of paper next to you. Something like that. What the hell? Oh god, I hate puzzles. Yeah, you connect. Whoa! All that. Yeah. I could give you a solution right Wait. now. Wait! Shut. You know you're gonna have to give it to me on that last puzzle, right? You know. Ah, uh, yes. Of course. <sighs> okay, um. Don't get it. You have to overlap all the photos into one photo, pretty much. It'll create two numbers and a symbol. Oh no! How am I supposed to do that? Uh. Two numbers. Wait. Like a double digit number and a symbol? Because I kind of yeah. see a seven. Wait, 74? Is it 74? You got the first number right, seven. So if that. 72? 72! There you go. 72, and then the symbol looks. No. Seventy-two. Is it this symbol here? Well, it doesn't matter because I can just guess it from here. You can use all of them. No, I mean... Oh, uh, no! Uh, <laughs> that turns to... Oh, no! Um, it's... I think it's that's the top, right? That is the top. 
So I have to figure out the last one. I think is this is. I think this is the bottom. It's either that or this. Oh, let's try it. Okay, I was right. What in the? F A heavily mo. Th no, the Matilda. No. <laughs> I hate it! I hated the Matilda in freaking Resident Evil. Triple. That's garbage! Oh, you're gonna, wait. You're gonna die, bro. Ah, yeah. The Matilda is garbage. I don't like things that, like, okay. Say you shoot three times and that hurts the enemy, but the second time you shoot three times, the first bullet kills the enemy, uh, and you wasted the last two bullets. I do not like weapons like that. Yeah. Berea will, will, Wild Burger's Diary. I'm gonna keep saying Will Burger, aren't I? Welcome <laughs> the Good Burger. Sixth of June, nineteen sixty-three. Why do I have dyslexia like that? Okay, whatever. I was terrified of what William would do when he finally saw my naked skin, but my fears were unfounded. He accepted me, even with the scars on my back left by my father's whip. William asked me why he did it, of course. I explained that the pain was to redeem my sins. William will never look at my father the same way again. Oh, here's that puzzle. It's like, what... What the fuck are we even supposed to get from that? I... I don't know. Okay, whatever. We'll we, we'll definitely have to come back to that later anyways. Wait, I'm going the wrong way again, aren't I? Uh, yeah, you're supposed to go down the stairs. Here we go. in this way, which I thought would have been an automatic locked door. Oh, yes, the basement. It's very based, isn't it? <clears throat> Hello. Did you get freaked the fuck out by that thing? The first time? Yeah, I think I did. <laughs> It's been mutilated. What the hell is going on here? So this is a throwback to Silent Hill, the very first one. Because you come, you go to this back alley and everything's like fenced off with those, you know, chain, uh, like those wire chain fences. And you come up to this one in like this exact kind of thing. And it does this exact angle, too, when you get up to it. And you find a more related corpse. But when you turn around, there's little demon children and they kill you. And you can't avoid it. It's part of the game. And you... you know, and you die. Yeah, they're... They look like little sloths with knives. And they come at you... Well, you'll see in, in the video when you go back. They look... They go like this. They're, oh, they're most disturbing things in that game. Wait. You, you, uh, went the wrong way? No? Oh, yeah, 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 this is, this is exactly where I came. Okay, so I gotta go this way. You get twisted around too easily. Yeah, I do. Gas mask on the statue. And yeah, I find it cool and disturbing that these uh, sconces are held up by human hands and arms. And this goes to the morgue, right? Yeah, this goes to the morgue. No, no, it couldn't. It didn't say morgue right above it. Shut up. It goes to the morgue. Oh. I know it does. It does. 
And this is where I wish I had the original costume. Because, uh, yeah. She has physics for some reason in this game. <gasps> Fuck! What's funny is you can kill him right now. Oh, yeah, you're right. Um. I would recommend that. Oh, god damn it! Um, I. I had to hit enter to go into the inventory. And it throws me off so hard. What the hell is going on here? My child, you are pale. What happened to you? A person in a wheelchair with knives in his hands was chasing me. Knives for hands. Oh, it's you. Don't you remember me? I'm the town priest. We met here in the chapel only a couple of days ago. This will make sense later on in the game. What? I'm sorry. I don't remember you. I certainly don't remember coming here before. I see. Perhaps I'm mistaken. I'm old and get confused every now and again. What is going on here, Father? Where is everybody? The patients and the hospital personnel have been transferred to the new hospital in town. This old mansion has been left pretty much abandoned. So how long ago is he talking about, though? Why are all the lights off? I don't like this. And yeah, okay, they haven't fixed this. Anything could be lurking in the dark. She doesn't say that line. I feel the same. Something evil is happening here. Something wicked that hides in the shadows. Is there a way to turn on the lights? The old generator has been playing up. It happens sometimes. So he's talking as if he's been here for years. Go to the end of the hall and through the door that leads to the generator room. You can restore the power from there. I see. I'll do that. Wait. Take this with you. It's not much, but it might be useful. It's dangerous to walk around the mansion unarmed. That just reminds me of that Zelda thing. <laughs> it's dangerous to go alone. Thank you, Father, but what are you going to do without a weapon? My child, with a Bible in my hand, God protects me. Yeah, so cliche. Nailer with a modified air pressure tank to increase the power. What, what type of Bible you read in there, Father? Yeah, I know. It's just a really heavy, sturdy Bible with, like, metal casing, and you just beat things to death with it. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great! You see him in the next room defending himself like, Jesus Christ! My faith in God protects me. See? And so does this book. <laughs> and so does this book that I've modified. This book contains hundreds of heavy crosses. Comes that creepy room coming up. Yeah, right here, right? First of January, 1967, William promised me that moving into the mansion, where the city hospital is located, would be the best for us, that it would allow us to spend more time together. These days, however, I find him spending every waking hour at work. I fall asleep waiting for him at night. His passion for medicine is what made me fall in love with him in the first place. Am I being selfish? How can you be a shellfish? I don't understand why they're bolted up this way. Wouldn't that be highly inconvenient to do that? To take that off? I didn't know. I mean, even with the technology this, this era seems to have, they're 
there should be a better way of doing this. You know that one only has one set of bolts? Wait. Oh. No, they all have... That one has one less right there. Right here, huh? Yeah. I think that's the one that moves, too. Radioactive suits are lined up on the wall. When, when he says moves, he doesn't mean, like, it starts moving. Uh, it gets removed from here as if somebody's using it. Yeah, how would they take that off? Yeah, I know. I guess it's to prevent theft, because those are radiation suits. Now why did she go from this one over to the... <laughs> Whatever. Why well, question it? Well, there's a wheelchair monster somewhere. One is missing. We need to find that one. So... I think it's no. <clears throat> thank, thank you. There's an issue with the electric generator. The pressure of the gas must be exact for it to ignite. The correct pressure is written on the control panel. It says 10, but we know the solution is 11. But I need something else first, and I think it's in this room. Yeah, it's over here, right here. Okay. Oh, this is so... It's so hard to control when I'm sprinting. Because I have to move my fingers around to... I, I, I really hate uh, sprint being on shift. I really, really hate it. Okay, so we need it to be on... So we know this one needs it, because... That's not... What? What? Oh... There we go! It's gonna be hard. I I'm really gonna have to figure out how to get a controller up and running on this, because this game needs controller. See, the reason that worked is because it says 10 here. But when you use it, it uses one every time. So you needed to have it 11, so it'll make it to 10. I really, this is not gonna work in a pinch. What? Oh, it shoots three at once. Oh. Does it use more ammo? Yeah, it means it shoots three at, I thought it went bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. But no, it shoots three at once. Okay. I was just being an idiot. No comment. Let me reread that. So say, see, it's just three nails in a row. So I thought it was going to go bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. 
It shoots three at once. So it's it's mislabeled. And until we get an item later on, we have to make sure we have this pretty much on at all times. Oh, can't I please switch these controls? It only has options for... That's so lame. Okay, so we dealt with the guy in the hall. Now we need to go... Wait. What? Oh, it's the opposite end. Okay. Yeah, I do not like this outfit at all. That's better. What? Oh, did you see that? Her skirt was right ri rode up her leg. Oh my god. I like this outfit way better. Um uh, Yeah, this way. Controls are so clumsy on keyboard and mouse, not gonna lie. What? What was with that? Um, oh yeah, maternity ward, right? That we're not completely ready for yet. We need to find the other piece of the heart. Shut through the heart? You're too late, baby. You give love. Wait, that's where we were. That's the front of yours? There are these controls! <laughs> God damn it. Wait. I know where to go. I know where to go. I know exactly where to go. Okay. What? I'll take it. How much ammo did that use, though? Three? Should have? Yeah, okay. Run, 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 run. Okay, and also a tip for this game. For example, okay, she, if they were alive, she would aim down at it. So as soon as you shoot and she aims up like she's in a neutral position like this, they're dead. It does that in Resident Evil and in Silent Hill, the originals. Uh, I... Do not. Why is this system like this? Because it wasn't made for. It's not mouse. made for keyboard. And oh shit. Um. Yes. <laughs> oh god. Mouse and keyboard sucks on this game! <sighs> okay. Here, here's the other part of heart. Okay, so we have everything we need. This should have some... Okay, I guess it doesn't. Oh, here's where the morphine is. And that sound? That's not an enemy in here.
Did I put it in the wrong one? Whatever. Oh, yay! Nice. Guessing these are like intestines or something. Oh, God, ew. Notice how it says help there with the medical tools. So that means the person that was operating on them put those in there to spell help. I think you're muted again, bud. <laughs> I did put it in the wrong goddamn gun. Oh, see, it was on this box over here. Now it's over here. That's the Don't true me box. box. Yeah. Seriously. Okay, now we need to go to maternity ward. And if you beat it, you get a nail gun that shoots five nails. <sighs> <sighs> That head there scared the fuck out of me earlier. Just just two seconds ago. Okay, now we can get in here because this was an electronically locked door. Okay, now. Maintenance crew logbook with blood. Oh, oh, that explains everything. Okay. Lucas Huston, evening shift. Electrical maintenance, 1445. Oh, military time? Okay. So that would be 1245? Don't you take just. No! That'd be 245, right? Because you take 12 off, right? There you go, yeah. The nurses told me that a lamp was malfunctioning in the maternity ward. When I turned on the lights, I could see that one of the bulbs in the wall was uh, indeed flickering. As I was getting ready to change it, a man came out of nowhere and grabbed me by the shoulders, pushing me back with strength unimaginable for someone his age. He told me not to touch it. I didn't want to argue with him, so I simply left. I can't stop thinking about it. Why did the old man prevent me from touching it? I should check it out. And looks like he did. And he got murdered. Yep. No, when you first played this, you had a lot of uh, ammo issues. I don't know why you're using triple nailer. Um, because I'm gonna do the Resident Evil 4 strategy. Okay. Shoot the thing until it falls over, and then use the melee weapon to finish it off. I remember he had problems finding out what to do next year. Yep, but I know exactly what to do now. Oh, I need to do something else first. <laughs> it's just called Little Room. There. Oh. Okay, good. Oh god, is it gonna do it to me again too? Is it loud? Is it gonna be too loud again? Well, we can find out. Yeah, that was a bit too loud for me. Ow! Point where you wanted to stop playing. Yep. Well. I was going to say, there's nothing in there for me to fight, but there is. There's Here's one that thing. One. <gasps> Why do the cutscenes have to be so damn loud? Ow! I'm, uh... For you, Ark, I'm pulling the, uh... Headset a little bit away from my ear. <laughs> Why are 
the cutscene's not affected. That's bullshit. As there's an option you missed. Yeah, I swear. There's only music and sound effects, not cutscene. Hmm. I'll show you. Music. SSX. That's weird. Okay. Now everything changed. Instead of mannequins, there are, uh, torture thingies. Okay, doesn't need reloaded. How long has the death been going for? Fifty. Ah. Go for a longer one than this one, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Really wish Tab would open the fucking inventory. Okay. So fucking disturbing. I think that's it. Wait, is that something? Wait. Oh, why did it look like... Okay. From this view, it looked like this bed was seated, like, properly on the floor. And then I looked over here, I'm like, wait a minute. Okay. Little room. There's little room here. Uh, 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 uh. No. <clears throat> Go away. Back in the bit, mate. Okay. Why didn't it? Oh. Okay, so we got the handle. I think that's everything from here. And we will go and save. Where's. I'll show you guys just so you know. And she's gone! Oh no! Where was that? Save room. It doesn't help that I don't know how to open the map either. Hmm. Save room's in here, right? No. No. Save room down in here. I 
and it's This leads in. Okay. But it's not a save room, is it? Yeah, there's no. Oh, good thing I came back. You may find what you're looking for in the library. How can I find the library? It's on the second floor of the East Wing. Take the stairs in the main hall. Oh, you'll need to unlock the door in the waiting room. Thank you. Take care, Father. Seriously, though, where is... I completely forget. Need a save room. Actually, you know what? We'll make progress at the same time. I know for sure where a save room is. Further on. Um, do I? Yeah, I'll, I'll figure it out. It's back down there, isn't it? I might as well make progress at the same time. So, we gotta go this way. Wonder if there's a mod to put Resident Evil 2 music in this. So Resident Evil E2. Resident Evil 2 E. I thought there was a. Huh. I know. Isn't there a save room through here? I think so. There's also an enemy through here, too. He's way over there. Might as well deal with him. Hey, buddy. Enter. Oh, that one died a little differently. We'll deal with you too. Come on. Hey. <laughs> See, that one made a different sound when he died. He made a normal sound. I think there's a save room right here. Actually, hold on. First. I didn't notice this the first time I played, but over here, apparently. What? There it is. Hmm. 
A smashed statue of Jesus. It looks like it fell off the cross. If I'm right, this is a, yeah, this is a save room. Come here. And our first save. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh. Might as well just save over it. An old magnetophone. It looks like it works. Recording my progress might be useful if anything happens to me. My name is Caroline Walker. I came to Wild Burger Mansion seeking information about two girls in a photograph I received in the mail a couple of weeks ago. The last thing I remember before losing consciousness was arriving at the hospital and entering the mansion's main hall. I remember pain and then nothing. I woke up sometime later connected to a ventilation machine and my eye had been removed. Why? Why would someone do such a thing? I don't know what the hell is going on in this place, but I need answers. Every time I close my eyes, I see those girls. Am I going insane? Yes. Anyways, this is a perfect time to do this. Uh, okay. I will see you guys in the next episode. You guys take care out there.